EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martitur with your outlook for the weekend, May 20th and 21st, 2023. This time of year, you start thinking about outdoor parties and events, graduations, weddings, Memorial Day and Independence Day, holiday parties, or just an outdoor gathering with friends and family. Many of these events you have to plan well in advance without knowing what the weather will be like, and then you're left crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. Well, the weekend video forecast sponsor can help you out with the weather part of it. Pitch a Tent Rental Company is located in Foglesville, Pennsylvania, and serves the greater Lehigh Valley region and surrounding areas. If you're planning any event, big or small, check out their website to reserve tents to keep your event dry and take the weather out of the planning part of it. They can also help you out with tables, chairs, coolers, a dance floor, and even a bass thumping sound system. The folks at Pitch a Tent recommend to always use protection from the elements that is and as you never know how hot cold dry or wet your big day will be i can't even say it with a straight face sometimes that's a this is a great advertisement go to pitchatentrentals.com and be sure to mention epa wa in the additional comments section to receive a 10 percent discount they are pitch a tent rental company proud sponsors of the weekend video forecast still kind of giggling here Okay, so today we have uh, not a not so good day, and, and this is a repeat of uh, you know many times over the last uh, say two months or so where you had at least one of the two weekend days that are kind of iffy. Uh, today's one of those days. It won't be for everywhere though, uh, where it's uh, a, a total loss. I think you have two separate systems here that we're dealing with. Uh, one is an offshore system here, and the question is always uh, how how far west does this get, and Throughout this entire week, it looked like it was going to be a made like a coastal graze, and that's it. And then the NAM came into range and started pushing this thing further and further west. So we got a little uh, some people anxious that are sitting here in far eastern Pennsylvania, going, "Wait a minute, we weren't supposed to get any rain from this, and now it all of a sudden they're showing rain." Uh, it's possible, okay. And I'll show you some scenarios here. We also have a cold front that's going to be moving through. Uh, later in the day, like afternoon and, and early evening, it's going to cross, but this is not going to be that big of a deal by the time it comes through. The bigger deal is going to be this bugger here moving ahead of it. Now, the European model, which I'm showing you here, still does that coastal gray stuff, and this is the latest 18Z run that I have before the video was recorded very late Friday evening. Actually, we're coming up on midnight here, So, uh, but this is the latest run I have for that, and it's still doing the same thing, uh, where it's just kind of grazing the coast, and that's it, and the cold front moves through. And it kind of falls apart as it heads eastward. So that's we're still expecting the cold front to do that. Okay, so there's not going to be a lot of precipitation. And when it does move through, it's kind of late. So most of the day is going to be dry in the interior locations before that front moves through. So let's get over to the NAM High Res Future Simulated Radar. And this is the latest 0Z run. This is the one that just came out, uh, well, about an hour ago. Or maybe a little bit over an hour. Uh, it does match up the current radar that I did cross-reference that, like the current radar at the time this video is recorded versus what it's showing over in, uh, you know, southeastern Virginia, North Carolina area where it is currently at the time the video is recorded does match up for what it's worth, okay? Uh, so this is looking at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. You can follow the timestamp here in the upper right-hand corner of the video as I move this forward. Cold front's all the way back out here in western Pennsylvania at this point. Uh, but you got some showers. They're going to move through. Parts of Delaware, South Jersey, maybe even parts of extreme southeastern Pennsylvania, the southeastern corner of Pennsylvania, nearest the Philadelphia region. And uh, this is uh, during the course of the morning. You still have some lingering stuff. Uh, this is the initial batch right here that comes through. And then you have this lingering stuff down here that's going to be moving through. Now, this is the, it's the second one, number two here, this batch here that is uh, what we're uh, worried about maybe coming a little bit further west. Okay, And it is possible that this happens. Okay, and that would be during the afternoon for the second batch. Watch this. See that? And it gets right over the Philadelphia area. It even gets pretty close to places like Pottstown and Allentown. So you might have a situation here where, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Lehigh Valley, uh, eastern Pennsylvania is right along the river, right? It could be a situation where Allentown is not seeing anything, and then Easton is raining. Let's go. It's very tight. Very tight grading on the west side here. And I don't know what's necessarily going to be that far west. Uh, because if I pull this up, to go to the re most recent run. This is the the one at 18Z, the one that ran before that, that got everybody up on the arms about, oh, wow, look at all this rain. Here's what this, the same time frame here on uh, on the 18Z run. Look how far away. It went even further west. So it did shift eastward. 
See that? It's, it was further west here on the 18Z run. Uh, the new run, the most recent run, went back east again. Okay, but not all the way. So still get southeast PA involved with this and most of New Jersey. So we'll have to keep an eye on this because and it's going to be one of those deals where you have to look at the radar. See what the radar shows. These models are just that. They try to give you an idea of what's going to happen and where. Uh, I do think if you're going to have this second batch of activity come in, though, it is generally during the afternoon. Okay, you see that here? So if there's a game here that starts in, in South Philadelphia uh, at 4.05. We, of course, do the weather for um, the Philadelphia Phillies, so they're worried about the start time being affected here. I don't think it does affect the start time. I think it's out of there before the start of the game. It might have affect the pregame stuff, batting practice, whatever, right? But I think the game's going to be fine. Here's that trailing cold front coming through, and that's going to be uh, late afternoon and early evening. You see it falls apart as it heads eastward, but there could be a few showers with this. So if you're one of these interior locations, it's just going to be cloudy or mostly cloudy most of the day. You're not going to have any interference with any kind of rain until this front comes through, which, again, is not till late in the afternoon in central Pennsylvania. And during the course of the evening, this is 9 p.m. right here, or 8 p.m. There's 9 right there, 9 p.m., and it's just getting to the far eastern part of the state at that point. And it's also in a, in a much lesser state in terms of precipitation intensity. So, you know, it kind of falls apart as it moves east, and that's it. And, of course, it's out of here by Sunday. Sunday's going to be a fantastic day. Uh, mix of clouds and sun and temperatures that are going to be in the upper 70s for most areas. 76 to 80 is the spread in temperatures here for Sunday. Today, 68 to 76, and it's kind of variable. If you're going to see the precipitation, you're going to be a little bit lower. Um, you know, it, it, the areas in the interior probably get a little bit warmer, but... Uh, it's not going to be too too much today. So looking at back at this, uh, going back to the uh, the first batch, and how far west does this get? This is how far the newest NAM gets. If you look at the uh, RGEM that ran this evening, it continues to show it much further east. Okay, and and I'm telling you, it's a fine line here on the western fringe. It could be something like, you know, towns that are literally 10 miles apart from west to east that one sees nothing at all on the western side and the eastern side. And they're like, yeah, we got rain for a couple hours. It's going to be a very sharp cutoff. This is, reminds me of those winter storms that we have those big sharp cutoffs, those big coastal lows, right? Uh, so I don't want to remind, be reminded of that right now, but that's uh, that's kind of gives me that little bit of a reminder of these tight gradients sometimes, and this is one of those deals. So just if you have a radar app, radar scope I recommend, um, or radar Omega is the other one I have. I, I have a couple on my phone, uh, but those are all pretty good, okay, if you want to follow the radar uh, and uh, follow that throughout the day. That's probably going to be your best tool here on Saturday. I don't think it's going to be a washout on any location except if you're, unless you're across New Jersey and Delaware. Uh, but far areas in far eastern areas of Pennsylvania where you're on that fringe, especially in southeast PA, you might want to monitor the radar just in case before you head out and do anything. And, you know, you're, you're not uh, ticked off because you... You, you tried doing something outdoors, and then it starts raining, okay? So it's a tough call, and that's the best I can do for you. But it does look like it's generally the afternoon for the second batch to come through. Once we get past this, it is nice on Sunday, like I said. Uh, then once we get to uh, Monday, we're back to mostly sunny skies, generally mid to upper 70s again here on Monday. Uh, Tuesday is going to be partly cloudy ahead of a cold front. There's a reinforcing cold front. That's going to be dropping down from the north here. This is going to be on Wednesday. So Wednesday night this is going to come through. There's no precipitation with this, but it's because it's running into such dry moisture, right? There's no moisture here to tap into. It just kind of falls apart. Best forcing remains far across northern New England. This comes through overnight, Wednesday night. So ahead of this front on Wednesday, we are mostly sunny, but temperatures are going to take another jog at 80 or maybe even a lower 80s in some places here for uh, Wednesday until that front comes through overnight kind of quietly because you're not going to have any precipitation with it. And then we go back down into kind of like the mid to upper 70s for Thursday and Friday. But both of those days are mostly sunny days. Now, looking ahead to the holiday weekend, uh, Friday starts the unofficially the four-day weekend, Friday through Monday. Most people celebrate that time from Friday and Saturday are fine. Uh, there is a question about late in the weekend, and this, uh, this bugger across the southeastern U.S. or just off the coast there, is going to make an attempt to come northward here, and some of the models are starting to play games with this and bringing something in here either Sunday night and Monday. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on this. Again, you know, getting all four days of the holiday weekend uh, completely dry is a tough task, especially when you've been dry all week prior to that. You know, uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. Don't get uh, discouraged or excited one way or the other if it decides to stay away or 
Bruins plans. We'll get into that next week because I think we'll have a better look at this. Models just guessing at this point. This is hour 240. This is 10 full days into the future. It's trying to project and it's having a hard enough time with tomorrow stuff or I'm sorry, Saturday stuff. Just saying. So just follow up back throughout the week. We'll cover the uh, Memorial Day holiday weekend in detail each day leading up to that so we have all the latest information at our disposal. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for this weekend, May 20th and 21st, 2023. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.